Speaker of Parliament Professor Michael Quay had chided corrupt politicians as he urged them to emulate the principles of the late former NDC national chairman, Dr. Kwabneje. The remains of the former majority leader was laid in state in Parliament ahead of his burial tomorrow. The House, at a short pre-burial ceremony earlier today, received his body and eulogized his memory with Speaker of Parliament extolling his anti-corruption stance. Dr. Kwabena Aji, Honorable, was a voice and actor of moderation in our politics at one time. The dichotomy in Ghanaian politics sometimes pain me. We take stands, we are like parallel lines. I think his death should remind us that there is no virtue that situation. He was not corrupt. I follow Ghanaian politics and I'm telling you this in public. He was not corrupt. And it's a quality we need for men and women in public life. And when some stand to it, it must be recognized as an example. General Secretary of the Party, Johnson Asiedun Ketia, also says that Dr. Kwabna Ej will be remembered for his good deeds. There will be opportunity for us to pay tribute to our leader. And I would not want to spend much time uh, talking about Dr. Kwabna Suffice it to say, however, uh, that I've known Dr. Pabraji for over 30 years. We've worked together, we came to Parliament together, and left Parliament together. We have worked together first when he was uh, the chief whip, chief whip. And I happen to be one of the adjunct provocateurs in Parliament at that time. So he needed my services to be able to mobilize. And that was when we became very close. And I've never regretted my working with Dr. Papraji. As fate will have it, when he was made Minister of Agriculture, I was made Deputy Minister of Agriculture. And we worked together there too. And then when we left Parliament, he decided, he called me and said he wanted to be General Secretary of the party. I also told him I wanted to be General Secretary of the party. So we had to come together to you know, seek consensus. And that's how come I propose to him that he should be national chairman and I'll work under him again as general secretary. We were asked Mr. Speaker testified. We were at the ministers who didn't know how to make money. So at that stage, we didn't have money to campaign. So I said, Doctor, how are we going to campaign? Then he said, well, then let us combine our forces like Captain Smart. In those days, remember Captain Smart uh, Phil. <laughs> Captain Planet. I beg your pardon. So that's how come we started joint campaigning in NBC. Eulogizing the former majority leader. He was, uh, I would say, a man of many, many, many qualities. Uh, he was a fighter. Uh, he's a philosopher. He's a psychologist, a sociologist. Um, he's a very down-to-earth person. I mean, one of them, one of the most down-to-earth persons you can ever meet. He was a funny man to the to the levels you can believe. I mean, this is somebody who literally can crack you up for hours non-stop. Uh, he's very, I mean, he combines so many things together. I mean, for me, 
and, uh, and what, what fascinated me most about him was his ability to move across generations. He was far more older, but when you see him among us who are far, far, far more, like, I mean, almost young enough to be his children, you hardly would know. I mean, he basically is a great guy. I had the privilege to work with him as a national leader. 